What's up, people? I'm Josh from Buck Cherry. These are my tattoos. I was into tattoos when I was a kid, you know. I always thought Indians look cool with like war paint all over them. And every time I saw like a biker with sleeves, I was like, I was just fascinated with it, even when I was a little boy. And nobody in my family was tattooed or anything, so I just knew it's something I wanted, you know, when I got older. My first tattoo was a big mistake. I, I got really hammered and went into Laguna Tattoo in Southern California, and I got Betty Boop on my wrist. You can kind of see it, but I got it covered up with like water and stuff. That was my first bad decision of a tattoo. Then one time I was uh, I was really tweaked out on uh, on meth and alcohol, and I got some dude who he gave me uh, like this broken glass armband tattoo on my arm that I got covered up right here. And then I started figuring out that I should probably get a good tattoo artist. So then I met up with Kevin Quinn, quintessential tattoo in Los Angeles, and he's done the majority of my work. And as you can tell, he kicks ass. He did my sleeves, and this girl's face right here is a, a Sailor Jerry. I always wanted one of his pieces on me. And the cool thing is I got this before I met my wife, and it looks almost exactly like my wife, which is cool. Even my daughter looks at it and says, that's mommy's face, you know? So that's pretty cool. On my back, it's the Suicide King of Hearts. It's the only king in the deck with a knife through his head, which is killer. It's got a couple of my favorite words, love and desire on it. I was born and raised in Southern California. I got LA burning right here and, you know, Black Panther, which is epic. And then I got all my kids' names. I have three kids. I got my son is Jack. He's on my neck. And a little uh, kanji right here that, that represents King. That's, that's King Jack, my son. And it's my daughter, Willow. My other daughter, Sutherland. I have spent thousands on tattoos. I, I, I've lost count a long time ago. When I, when I started getting my sleeves done, I was a you know, struggling musician in Hollywood, and, and I, I had met Kevin Quinn. I wanted sleeves so bad, so I would just take a portion of my paycheck out, and I would pay him like every week. And then, and then once a month, I'd go in there and get and tattooed, and he was, he was so cool to me because he knew how excited I was to, to be sleeved, and so, he gave me the bro rate because, you know, he, he was uh, doing a lot of big celebrities at that time and stuff, but uh, he was really cool to me. And, and since then, you know, we just developed such a great relationship over the years. And that's that.